the, my final lecture in this academic year will be on what I've called the broken promise of anonymization and big data. There's a, a wonderful article written by an American lawyer, Paul Ohm, called exactly that, the broken promise of anonymization. And it's a very good explanation of why it is that you can't anonymize personal data if it's a rich data set and if it's going to be any use to anybody, if it contains enough details to be able to use it sensibly and to, to process it for those purposes, then the science of de-anonymizing that data has advanced to the point where we can no longer protect personal anonymity. And that creates all sorts of challenges for, for government, for society at large. We need to work on potential solutions to that. And it's not clear what those solutions will be because we will have to probably change some of the other attitudes that we've got in order to make it work. Um, and, and there is a balance to be struck because if we want to protect the privacy of individuals, then some people doing malevolent things will use that to hide their own identities. So the whole debate about what right of access should the state have in order to be able to carry out its legitimate role of protecting the public and enforcing the laws, and where does individual privacy and, and the human right to individual privacy match against the individual right to security. That's a debate that happens behind closed doors in policy making and really ought to be happening much more in public. So let's see if we can get that debate really going and decide what kind of trade-offs we think are appropriate.